number six on our countdown of worst days, the late heavy bombardment. Approximately 150 million years after the Thea impact, the Earth's crust cooled. Some speculate that early oceans and even life may have evolved. But another cataclysm would wipe the slate clean. In the far reaches of the solar system, the orbits of the outer gas giants began to fluctuate, disrupting vast swarms of asteroids and comets. Trillions broke loose from their orbits and plunged inward toward the rocky planets, launching an era of fiery destruction known as the late heavy bombardment. We know asteroids the size of Texas hit the Earth. Any impactor that big causes the entire ocean to go away. We sterilize the Earth over and over and over. So the inference we have is that life evolved over and over and over just to be snuffed out again by these large impacts. The relentless bombardment gouged out craters thousands of miles wide, and the hits just kept coming for at least 200 million years. Today, billions of years of erosion and shifting plate tectonics have erased any trace of the cataclysm from the Earth's surface. But it's a different story on the cratered face of the moon. We can see uh, very clearly its record on the face of the moon. The lava-filled basins were formed during the giant impact events that occurred during the late heavy bombardment. And so we know that large objects hit the Earth during this time. But this celestial rain of fire may have had a silver lining, literally. New evidence suggests the late heavy bombardment delivered precious metals to the surface of Earth. Things like silver, gold, and platinum. Earth's original store of these elements had sunk into its molten iron core as the planet slowly cooled. But now, with our planet already solidified, this new supply of materials remained near the surface, able to be mined by future humans. Today's technologies depend on a lot of the heavy elements that were delivered to the Earth through impacts. So it may have been very difficult for the life, if there were life on Earth during the heavy bombardment, but it was very good for the Earth's crust to have all of these materials that we now depend on delivered to the surface of Earth through impacts. The late heavy bombardment was Earth's true baptism by fire. But now, as we reach number five in our countdown of the planet's worst days, Earth catches the worst cold in history. A climactic crisis so chilling that life itself was in danger of being frozen in its tracks.